for the record, yeah. For the record, yeah. for the record, yeah. All right, welcome to week 14 of the NFL season. The last week, I lost two out of my three bets and I actually lost 500 for the week. So total so far, I'm down 650. <laughs> Gotta keep digging. I say this every week, but let's get into this. Thursday night football, we have the Patriots at LA Rams, minus four and a half. I think that's crazy. The Rams should be favored by double digits at least. Don't be fooled by that 45-0 win. Next, we have Houston at Chicago. These are two very similar teams, hence probably why the spread's plus one. I'm going to go with Chicago here just because they have an established system. Next, we have Dallas at Cincinnati, plus three and a half. I'm going to go Dallas here. We're going to put Andy Dalton back in Cincinnati. I think he's going to be very prepared for this game. Kansas City at Miami, plus seven. I think Kansas City definitely has this. Hopefully, Andy Reid can you know make things challenging for a rookie QB here. Minnesota at Tampa Bay, minus six and a half. Tampa Bay is right on the cutoff of making it into the playoffs, so they really need this game. However, if this was minus seven and a half, I'd be scared, but six and a half, I'll take that. We have Denver at Carolina, minus three and a half. Carolina still got some injuries going on, and Denver, they need a bounce back game for sure. I'm gonna go Denver here. We have Tennessee at Jacksonville, plus seven and a half. Derrick Henry, that's all you gotta say. Next, we have Indy at Las Vegas, plus two and a half. I think the spread looks kind of iffy, but I feel like Indy, I think Indy is way better than Las Vegas. I'm going Indy here. Easy. I think they'll win by a touchdown. Next, we have the Jets at Seattle, minus 16 and a half. That's a big spread, biggest spread of the week, but I think that should be easy money for Seattle here. Next, we have a divisional game with Green Bay at Detroit, plus nine. Detroit is still trying to come together, and I don't think it's going to happen this season. New Orleans at Philadelphia, plus seven and a half. That's a big spread for Taysom Hill. I'm going to go Philly here. I don't think they're going to lose by more than a touchdown. We have Atlanta at LA Chargers, plus one and a half. These are two teams with a lot of variables. I wouldn't bet on either of these teams, but I'm going to go Atlanta here, minus one and a half. Next, we have Washington at San Fran, minus three. I'm going to take San Fran here. They've been playing actually pretty good, and Washington has to travel all the way to the West Coast. I give San Fran the edge here. Sunday night football, we have Pittsburgh at Buffalo, minus two. Man, these are two very similar teams. They both play really hard. I'm going to stick with Pittsburgh here, plus two as the underdog. And we finish off the week here with Baltimore at Cleveland. Divisional game, plus three and a half. I'm going to go Baltimore here. I really think they're the better team. So this being the last game of the week, if you can guess the winner and the final score, comment below. I'll give you $500 if you guess it right. And then my three bets this week, bet number one, I'm going to go Pittsburgh with the spread. And then in a separate bet, I'm going to bet the under for that game as well. I'm hoping that at least one of those hits. And that at the very least, I cancel out and eat the juice. Bet number two is going to be a two-team teaser with Green Bay and Tampa Bay. Two bays right here. Minus three and minus one and a half. Two-team teaser. I'm going to put $1,000 on this. We got to dig ourselves out of this hole, right? And then bet number three, we have Tennessee minus one and KC minus one. Man, these things are rhyming. Not on purpose, all right? $1,000 on this one as well. Let's dig. For the record. For the record. Been a little too nice to y'all. Now I got to up price for y'all. Snake eyes on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. Frozen.